Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the switched capacitor design. Okay. So here I have designed one circuit that is working as a voltage doubler and inverter circuit, right? Voltage doubler and inverter circuit. So you can see here, here I have used the chip lt1026 okay so this is the chip lt1026 which works as a switched capacitor right switched capacitor so it is having two outputs this is positive v out and this is negative v out so with this terminal you can have you can get positive output voltage and with this terminal you can get negative output voltage right so that is why this circuit is now designed for voltage doubler and inverter circuit right at the same time you are doubling your input voltage and at the same time you are also inverting the the input voltage right so if you see the pin out of this lt1026 here you can see this is c1 minus and this is connected with a with a you know capacitor to c1 plus right so this c1 minus is connected via a capacitor to c1 plus here we you have here you have one more capacitor that is c2 which is connected to the pin c2 plus and c2 minus then you can see here you have you have the output voltage that is negative output voltage that means whatever your input voltage is here you can get double 2 into v in 2 into your input voltage but the polarity is negative let's say if you are having here 5 volt you will get here minus 10 volt around right minus 10 volt then here this pin is ground this is for input you can connect your input source with reference to ground here this is already discussed now this is plus v out and this is connected uh your capacitor is c3 is connected between this v out pin and the ground pin the value of this capacitance you may have one micro farad right so basically the switched capacitor is uh, the application of the switched capacitor is where where the where the output power is very less at that case you can use the switch to capacitor design where you are drawing your load current is very less so let's say 10 milliampere or 20 milliampere or 30 milliampere you can use this switch to capacitor design this uh, the advantage of the switched capacitor is it also doubles your input voltage and it also inverts your input voltage let's so hope you understand the concept for switch to capacitor design why do we need the switch to capacitor design in electronics now i will run the simulation and i will show you the input signal what is your input signal and i will show you the the output signal for this point at this point that is positive output signal and i will show you the out negative output signal okay so let's say you if your input voltage is 5 volt what is your output voltage right that is v out and let's say if your input voltage is 5 volt what is your output voltage at minus v out so this we will see in the in the simulation so hope you understand the concept of a switched capacitor design now i will run the simulation and i will show you the waveform before i run the simulation you have to go at this this simulate window right and you have to edit the simulation command edit simulation command then you have to select it here the transient analysis and that is the stop 
stop time for this transient analysis for this case is 100 millisecond right so this is 100 millisecond you have to just click it okay so now everything is set you have to go at this button this is the run button you can directly go here or you can right click anywhere in the schematic and you can find this button on the top right so this is the run button so i will click it here this is the run button you you now you have two window one window for your schematic and one window for your simulation so i will go here this window and i will click this option that is child vertically so this will open likewise so i will zoom further this right i will zoom this now okay okay so hope this is now clearly visible to you okay so uh yeah let me show you the the input voltage so you can see your input voltage is 5 volt here you can see your input voltage is 5 volt now i will show the output voltage this is the output voltage so you can see your input voltage is 5 volt and your output voltage is is around 9 volt so this is the positive output voltage let me change the color for it this is the 9 volt right and now i will click the output voltage for negative terminal so let me click it here right so you can see this is your input voltage 5 volt this is your positive output voltage that is 9 volt and this is your negative output voltage that is 9 volt you may change the color for negative output voltage for that you have to right click this option and whichever color you want you can choose so let me choose some other color let's say i will choose this color right this is not good so i will choose some right color here light color is it okay now this is not also okay let's go with this color only okay so so now you can see your input voltage is 5 volt and your output is 9 volt that means this this ic integrated circuit trying to double double the output voltage at the same time it is doubling the output voltage and but it is also inverting the output voltage so at this terminal at v out terminal you can get the positive output voltage which is double double of your input voltage and at this terminal you can get negative output voltage which is double of your input voltage right so this is very simple circuit you can use in your design wherever it is needed so at the end i will upload this circuit in the google drive and i will share the link in the descriptions of this video so you can go and download the uh, this this ltspice file and you can do your own practice okay so thanks for watching this video if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section